Hello, 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 everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good day. Well, today is Wednesday, the 31st of May, 2023. The very last day of May. Can you believe it? So, tomorrow is the first day of meteorological summer. Okay, summer doesn't officially start until 21st, but it is basically the meteorological summer, okay? So today I am going to be working here on um, my lotus flower. It is the very last day for flowering May. Next Wednesday, we will be starting counting June, okay? So, um, this is what I'm going to uh, be working on, just so that you know. Yeah, right there, okay? Far farm Fresh Berries. So, that is my project for next week. And I already have my fabric. It's not very big, so I've got some fabric here that I had kind of worked on before, but didn't, nothing. Just use leftover fabric. And so I'm just going to, well, wherever. I'll end up putting it. It's a 14 count. I have a few colors. I have the black and the 987 but I don't have any of the others. I've been looking for them, but that's okay because there's a lot of black in here. So, okay, and then, let me see here. Yesterday, I also worked on my hope and love. And I finished all the way up to here. So that is H-I- yeah, just a minute. H I J K. I think this is K right here. And so I'm just going to continue working on that. Yesterday I made a boo boo. I had gotten almost this entire, well, I did get this G done. Funny looking G, huh? And I found out I was off by one somewhere. So I had to, I hadn't got any farther. So I had to just take this G apart and, and then work my way through. So I will be working on that. Absolutely, I will be. So, oh my gosh, I should have gotten this ready here. So anyway, uh, yesterday I had... I was supposed to go to Arburg with Juliet, and uh, John went instead, and that's fine. Um, so then I ended up staying at home. So I, I um, watched TV until about 10.30, and then I got on Rosie and went uptown because I had to go to the library, and the library opens up at 11, so there was no sense in going any earlier. So I uh, did that, and because um, I had to photocopy three papers, so I went there and and did that. There was a lot of group hugs there. <laughs> it's wonderful. So then I went across the street and went to the post office, and I had to send an express post letter to Winnipeg. And I said, well, I was first going to do it priority post. And that was going to cost me $34. And she said, well, it, it's guaranteed to arrive there today, which was good. So then I, um, so then I asked, well, what's the next one down? 
and she said, well, the next one is Express Post. And she said, it's guaranteed for, um, like, Thursday. And so I thought, oh. the, the priority post was $34, and the Express Post was 16 so I said, well, you know what? I'm going to just do the express post because I wanted it in there by today. And it's for me to be able to get my rent assist from the government. So they do this. Um, we get the papers usually in April. And you'd think I'd be ready for it, but. I wasn't. So anyway, I, um, the express post was 17 or well, $16 and something. So I thought, okay, well, I'll take my chances. So anyways, I paid for that and, uh, I was praying that because it's just going to Winnipeg that, you know, maybe it'd be in today. So I left the post office and I was just starting to pedal and my left pedal fell off. So I got down and I tried to fix it, but couldn't fix it. So I had to walk over. I thought, well, I'm not that far from the hardware store, so I'll just walk over to the hardware store. And... So as I was, I was between the grocery store and the hardware store when a neighbor here in town, Larry, um, he asked me how things were going and I said, yeah, not too bad. And then he said, uh, how's the bike? And I said, well, it's okay. But I said, my pedal fell off. And he said, I've got just the thing for it. So we walked back to his vehicle and he had an adjustable wrench and I got to get me one of those small ones. And so then he fixed it up and he actually tightened up the right pedal because it was ready to fall off. And then he tightened up the fender for me. And uh, so anyway, um, so yeah, so then I went back to the grocery store, which isn't very far, and just just down the street, just a little bit. And I um, so I went and got my groceries, and you know I can only carry so much, so and I got um six things of uh, Kleenex and, um, you know, I got some strawberries and, um, I don't know what else, garlic. And I got, I don't know, whatever else, whatever else there was. So then I left there and I couldn't put anything more on there. I was going to stop in at the hardware store and get some flowers, but I'll do that this probably Friday. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow or Friday. I'm not sure. So anyway, and uh, so then I stopped in the, at the pharmacy and I talked to Mina, who is the pharmacist, and I told him about the, um, the Ajovi. He said he'd never heard of it. I said, well, it's a new drug. It's kind of experimental because it hasn't been on the market that long. Um, like it's fully approved by FDA or, or the, not the FDA, Health Canada. And uh, so anyway, um, so he said, oh, I've never heard of it. And I said, let me tell you about Ajovi. So I told him, and I told him it's just a once a month injection. It's like an EpiPen. 
and I said I can give it to myself, but it has to be refrigerated. And I should be getting it the same day every month. And he, he said, okay, he said, I'm going to read up on it. So that's where I left it. So then I left and was coming home and it was windy and my sun bonnet flew off. So I turned around and picked it up and thankfully the wind didn't take it right off. I've got to put like a ribbon tie or something on it. And uh, then I came home. I was tired when I came home. Oh my gosh, I got home and it was like 20 to one or quarter to one. So I quickly brought everything in. I put like, I had frozen veggies. So I put them away and everything else I just left on the counter and quickly made lunch. So I had my lunch and then I sat down. <laughs> I was tired. I was tired. Because I was fighting the wind and it was extra, extra pedaling and it was my first time riding Rosie all the way over to um, the um, library and post office. Now, it's just around the corner from the co-op store. I'm going to see if I can't do it one day that I leave here for a ride and I will put my phone on and I'll do a video all the way. But you're going to hear me huffing and puffing <laughs> and the traffic. Thankfully, the traffic is not that heavy. And I ride on the sidewalk just up here. Oh, yeah, I had gone over there to Dawn uh, to pick out the frame and the um, mat board for my autumn. And... Um, if you live anywhere here in Manitoba and you want a good framer, um, there's Dawn. Um, I told her, um, I asked her if she, if they had a special website uh, for her framing and crafts and that kind of thing. And she said, no, everything's tied in with the music shop. So it's the Ericsdale Music Shop. And, but she does framing. And um, so anyway, it's going to be, um, we're going to see what, what happens. And um, yeah, so, and her prices are extremely reasonable, extremely reasonable. Because to frame um, Autumn Lady is going to be about $200 plus tax. That's doable. Because at um, places like Michael's and that it would cost minimum at least double at least double. So I ordered a nice barn board uh, kind of frame. Uh, it looks like, um, you know, uh, the wood there that it's like painted white, but it's like it's kind of coming off. Um, and then a green and orange mat. So I think it's gonna look good. So if you're ever interested, you can look up the Eric Yale Music Shop. And they also do concerts. They're doing a tribute to Hee Haw. 
this Saturday. So if you're anywhere in the area and you'd like to come to see a nice musical thing, they're going to do skits and I guess whatever, music. My friend David is going to uh, play, um, what's his name? Farkelson. Oh, gosh, I can't remember his name. Um, well, he was he was on Hee Haw. So, yeah. So, for me, it's too late. I can't go out at night. I can't. Um, I have to. I take my pills at 630. Because if I don't take them then, I'm just no good. Um, the rest of the day. So, um, yeah. But I had a good sleep last night. A really, really good sleep last night. And I woke up this morning at 6.15. Oh my gosh, it was such a good sleep. But I think I was really, really tired from my bike ride. So I'm going to go for a bike ride today, but I'm just going to go and do the loop and come home. So... But it was nice that I could get over there to the uh, library and post office. That was really good. Oh, and Juliet um, brought me a, um, there's a lady in town who makes these, what are they called? You know, they're filled with, oats and I don't know whatever else and you heat them up in the microwave and you put them so I got one to go around my neck and the only thing was oh gosh you all know I live in Canada right okay Canada is red and white so what does she make? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> See? The red stripes, the blue stars, the white. <laughs> but that's okay. I just found it funny as soon as I saw it. I said, oh my gosh, Americana. <laughs> yes. So, um, it's, uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll use it. It's perfect for in here. I just wish it was something like purples or <laughs> reds or something. <coughs> yeah. Like, that's perfect for someone in the States. <laughs> <coughs> that's okay. So... I just found it funny. <laughs> I just found it funny. Yeah. So on YouTube there, I've been watching because there's been nothing anywhere else. But I've been watching movies on YouTube and they are Christian movies. So if you're interested in watching some really good Christian movies, they, um, they're they just amazing on there. I've watched two of them or so. They're absolutely free. Yes, they do have a few ads in there. 
but not a lot of ads. I think Tubi has some um, under family. Um, they have some on um, Prime Video. I think anywhere where you can find movies there, they would have them. Yeah. <clears throat> so. It's just nice to watch some wholesome movies. I watched uh, Let There Be Light. That's with uh, what's his name? Kevin Sorbo and his wife. Um, there was also I thought I put one up there. Oh yeah, here it is. Fell down. Oh my gosh. Um. I also watched one and it was it was really good. It was about watching traditional movies and like going to theaters and watching these movies and there being, you know, um, using the name of God and the name of Jesus. In vain. They would have flashes of nudity, implied sex, all that kind of thing, you know. And there's kind of a debate between some people and <clears throat> on is it sinful to watch? you know, movies like that, that show a lot of skin, if not nudity, outright nudity and that, and using the name of Jesus in vain. And they said, is that really, mm. <clears throat> they were kind of doing a um, debate kind of, but just a very, you know, informal debate with friends. And the one set of friends said, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with it. And we're good Christians. And, you know, and so then these two explained, well, how can you call yourself a Christian if you're watching these movies? Right? And, you know, or TV shows or, you know, whatever it is, right? How, how can you call yourself a Christian? If it is that um, these people, you know, do that. And that's what sells in Hollywood, right? Very blasphemous, very anti-Christian, you know, that kind of thing. Even the use of OMG. Okay. Now, to me, OMG stands for, oh my goodness, right? But other people, even though, like, they say it and they go, oh my, and they really mean that, right? Even though they can kind of spell it as G-A-W-D, right? It's still implying. So, and the thing is, is that if we support this kind of garbage, um, are we Christians? So, it, it was really an eye-opener was really an eye opener it was something about something in the air or something I don't know what it was 
and it was um, yeah it was um, uh, it was pretty good they have all kinds of Christian movies on there they have with the rapture they have with um, um, you know being troubled souls um, living a heathen lifestyle, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And talking about the end times and uh, what happens, you know, what's happening in the world right now is what the Bible foretold over 2,000 years ago, right? So it's, there's a song, I can't remember who sang it, but the song goes, people get ready, Jesus is coming um, uh, to take you home, right? So at any moment, at any moment, any second, Jesus can call his church home and that's it. And I pray, Lord, Lord, I pray that um, I am worthy enough to be called home. That you will take me home. And I pray for those people who just either cannot see the light or refuse to see the light. Oh my gosh, I got quite the knot here. Oh gosh, why does that always happen? So, I saw that uh, somebody had posted their um, flower that they did for uh, flowering May. And you got it done and it was gorgeous. I don't know what they were, poppies or something. And uh, they were absolutely gorgeous. They were absolutely gorgeous. And, um, but I'm going to be starting there um, for counting June. I will be next um, Wednesday. I'll be starting on those farm fresh berries. Now, should I get them done? Then I'm going to pick something else out. Probably in the same family or whatever. Um, so you, you've still got a week to pick out what you want. And... Um, and I hope you will join me on the Wednesday morning for counting June. Now, if you're already doing counted cross stitch, it's no problem. And I will be starting right off from square one. How do you count? Okay. And the easiest way um, for you to, to take part in it, Find a small, simple pattern. Just a small one, okay? I'm not asking you to do a big, huge hade or uh, like my hope and love there, the alphabets. Just get something small. Very easy, maybe three colors or something, you know? Use it as a practice run. If you throw it out afterwards, doesn't matter. If you make 100 boo-boos, does not matter. The fact is, is that you're working on it. So, um, you know, and if you absolutely 100% cannot do, say you have really bad eyesight or you know, and may I recommend 
that if you have a pattern, blow it up. Okay? So take your pattern and enlarge it. And if it's on your device, like I have it on my iPad in GoodNotes 5, you know, if you have something else and you have one of the other stitching programs, then make it big on there. And mark, mark it off, okay? So if you're, if you have a paper, paper pattern, then use a highlighter. Okay, and I would recommend either yellow, pink, or orange. Don't go for purple or blue or anything like that because it's too dark. Okay, so I usually went with yellow, pink, or orange. Okay, so, and that's, that's what I did. Okay. So, little bell. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. This is the end of Flowering May. Thank you all so very much for joining me in this project. I didn't get as far done as I wanted to. Life got in the way. Um, so, please join me again next Wednesday for Counting June. Okay, and we'll see how far we get and how you all do. Um, please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. All of those things help my channel grow. And I'm hoping to get monetized, but I have a long way to go for that. I have 430, 428, something like that to get to 1,000. And I need a thousand to get monetized. So it's not like I'll be rolling at it. I'll be just getting like two cents a person or something. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know how it works. So there's also the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. You need to answer the question. Uh... Name one of my three side picks. Okay? And if you watch my channel, then you'll know. Now, Jonah and um, Sydney are outside, so which is good, because Sydney was being a pain here. But anyway, and then there's the dedicated email address, stitchinginthinterlake at gmail.com. And I welcome you to email me there. You can Facebook me. It says, yeah, message me. What, what, whatever, right? And all the information is usually down below. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. So does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah and Sydney outside, of course. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins may be forgiven. And I am a sinner, Lord. I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. So... We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Okay? And there is no greater time or um, urgency than right this minute, this second, to come to Jesus. Okay, everybody, I guess I will see you tomorrow. Have a great, great, blessed Wednesday. All right, everybody. Toodle-littles, everybody!